Hey guys, how are you guys doing? My name is Owen Chaponda and I am this month's Super Study of the Month for West End Best Friend. I am so, so excited to be a part of this platform. A platform that celebrates swings and understudies who play a massive, massive role in ensuring the shows that we love run as smoothly and as brilliantly as they do. So thank you again for asking me to just share my experience and just tell my story a little bit. My first ever job as a swing was the beautiful, amazing show, which is The Lion King. I was fortunate enough to graduate in 2017 and, and, and just jump straight into a, into a job. I was asked to cover 13 tracks in the job. And on top of that, also cover my favorite part, which is Simba, which was just a, a dream come true, a dream come true. When I first realized I was covering 13 tracks, I was very overwhelmed. I didn't even think it was possible to cover 13 tracks in a show. I think it's such a, an incredible responsibility to have. And um, during my first week, I remember being just so overwhelmed and having so much anxiety. But the late Thea Barnes, the beautiful Thea Barnes, really pushed me and allowed me to understand that it's okay to fail, it's okay to not be okay. We wouldn't have chosen you if you, if you weren't capable. And that just pushed me even further to, to achieve just the goals that I needed to achieve in that show. My preparation as a swing is... Well, I'll tell you the best thing, as, the best preparation as a swing is having the Swing Bible. And what Swing Bible does is it helps you to really just annotate and write down every individual track that you are covering in the show. And it helps you just, instead of having like a bunch of things to read, it, it just helps you kind of write down little small notes that kind of help you or remind you to do certain things for each specific character that you're covering. And I was asked to cover, well, on top of the 13 tracks, I was asked to cover their vocal, vocal track, their backstage track, because you might think there's a show going on on stage, but there's also another complete other show going on backstage. And you was also asked to know and understand what that was for every single individual character, which is a lot, but you know, it's, it's very important and vital for the show to know where you're going, what costume changes is where, kind of where, where you need to be placed if you're singing certain things in certain songs. Otherwise, if you, if you miss a step or, you know, you miss an arm or anything, it's, it, could be very very dangerous um, especially when you have a cast that, that have been doing it for such a long time as a swing you really need to be on top of your game and really understand exactly exactly what you were doing the amazing thing about lion king is it it helped me try out every single track individually so we'd be asked to kind of you know jump on or get on stage for a track weekly until you you finished covering all your tracks and i think many shows do that so that that was a, a brilliant brilliant experience for me personally that helped me a lot but yeah, so that was my first ever job as a swing was in The Lion King. But the, the one thing that, honestly, the one thing that I learned in that show was do not be afraid to fail. A failure is the best thing because if you, if, if you don't fail, then you won't be able to grow. You know, you, you won't be able to understand where you are weak and where you can improve. The second job I was fortunate to be blessed with was an on-stage swing on The Colour Purple, the musical, which was just incredible. I think having the foundation that I had during Lion King helped me really just step into the role a lot more easier and just understanding, you know, exactly what I'm doing. And then after The Colour Purple, I was also again blessed enough to be asked to be an onstage string for the original musical Back to the Future, um, which premiered in Manchester and opened at the Opera House. But it was a, it was a different experience because it was a brand new show. So you had a say in certain things that you did and stuff and you, you was able to really have a personal development and uh, really understand what you generally need to do and have to, um, you know, ensure that your track and the things that you're covering, you know, run as smoothly and, and as brilliant as you need them to do. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of been my experience. The advice that I would give for anyone looking to swing on any any show is just be prepared. Stay ready so that you don't have to get ready is a motto that I always use. Just ensure that you are vocally warm every single time. Be open to jumping on. You know, just, just be be available. Always, always ensure yourself that you are available for, for anything, especially as a swing, because you honestly get asked to do a lot. Which is one, which is incredible and an incredible responsibility. But you really need to be sure and ready that you know you are able to do it. So yeah, I'd say be vocally, um, vocally warm, um, every single time. Physically warm. Make sure you're, you know, you're doing your exercises. Make sure you are just working out when you're not being asked to, to, to be on stage. And just like stretching constantly, you know, constantly stretch. And also constantly keep on looking at your swing bible. Constantly look at your swing bible. Just constantly look at your lines and, and just all the things that you need to learn as a swing. And be open to not being okay. I think that really, for me, helped me a lot because it gave me less pressure. It just allowed me to understand that it's okay. It's okay to 
to mess up because at the end of the day you need your human being at the end of the day you're, you're a human being and there will be days where you you just you're in your mind and you know you have all these things and information that you that's going on and sometimes it's just it's okay to be like okay cool let me breathe let me take a step back let me see what i need to work on and let me keep on pushing forward so yeah that is me as a swing i hope that's kind of helped you guys i hope that's giving you a little bit of insight of what it's like to be a swing. Again, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this platform. And I'm so excited for anyone that's jumping in, you know, soon as a swing when all the shows start to run up again. But yeah, my name is Oji Ponda and that has been me. So I love you guys. Um, stay blessed, stay well, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.